Hello people, in this video let us look at urticaria or hives. Okay, so here you can see it is a localized dermal edema. So there is some edema here, localized dermal that is skin. <coughs> Why is this happening? Because there is change in the capillary permeability. So there is increased capillary permeability here. So, um, so the blood vessels are all, what happened to the blood vessels? They are all having increased permeability. This is a temporary uh, thing. Okay, so you can see some edema here. The this will involve what and all the subcutaneous tissue or submucosal layers. So if it is in the mucosa, so basically, uh, why does this happen? So this is more like an allergic reaction, right? So you have what here? Mast cells, IgE. So this is more like allergy. So that is the main thing that you have to write here. What is the cause? Means allergy, right? So basically, why does it happen? Because of autoimmune conditions. So some IgE uh, uh, reaction, okay? Some allergens like food, uh, etc. Some contact allergens, latex, 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 animal saliva. Some drugs, drugs that can cause um, urticaria. Which are the drugs that can cause urticaria? Salicylates, opiates, NSAIDs. You can just blame NSAIDs and get over with it. Okay, these are the most simple ones that we get our hands on. Antibiotics, dextran. Okay, dextran. That's a colloid, right? ACE inhibitor. So salicylates like aspirin. So as simple as aspirin, NSAIDs uh, like your ibuprofen, etc. Antibiotics, so many antibiotics are there. Textran, so colloid AC inhibitors, opiates, all these can cause um, uh, articaria. Then uh, some heat, cold, pressure, sun, sweat, water, anything on earth. It's an allergic reaction. Infections, pa parasites, uh, hepatitis, especially they have said. Then uh, autoimmune condition, systemic lupus, erythematosus, pregnancy, thyroid disease, standard, you know, any skin condition, you you can write all these uh, SLE, pregnancy and all that. Idiopathic, you don't know why it happens, spontaneously it can happen. Then articarial vasculitis uh, could be a cause like hepatitis B, SLE, idiopathic. SLE everywhere, they have blamed, hepatitis also they have blamed. Okay, this is about urticaria. So when you're explaining the cause, you, you can explain what exactly is happening also. So the antigen is coming here and then you have Ig. So there is uh, uh, histamines, uh, inflammatory mediators, heparin, a lot of things. And they will lead to increased capillary permeability that will lead to the uh, redness, right? So there is edema, dermal edema. So there will be dilated dermal vessels, edema. That's it, okay.